Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where it is officially true. We have reunited our realm with the exception of Hispania. We control 100% of the de jure counties and we can't create it because the Iberian struggle still exists somehow. I am not entirely sure how, but it definitely does still exist. I wish there was a decision that we could do to like end the Iberian struggle because there's no struggle. But whatever, that is not an option. What we should do, of course, is we should go spend our gold. Oh, we've got a disease rampaging through our realm, I see. That is reasonably fine. So let's get an upgrade on this vegetable field. We require the Royal Armory Innovation to upgrade those any further. Okay, that seems absolutely fine for now. Let's upgrade in Kong, our blacksmith, so that we can further boost our bowmen. In Kong North, we're still building. In Boron, the only option is cattle pastures, so that seems okay. Here we've got trebuchets. Not much that we can do to boost them up at this point, so we'll just upgrade these barracks. In La Raba, we've got pikemen. We absolutely can boost those, so that looks fine. In Warodugu, we can boost our trebuchets that are here, and we're out of cash at this point. I would absolutely love to expand our trebuchets here, or not really expand, but boost them, but we are out of cash to do that. We could upgrade these hill farms, but I would rather get the money for the Tunnelers Guild. So the question is, now that we've put our realm back together, what's our next move? I don't know. We've been spending so long putting our realm back together that I kind of didn't have a plan at this point. We could go after, like, Sardinia up here. This is a potential option here. We'd have to do, like, duchy conquests, but that is definitely an option. We're working on cranes right now. Primogeniture is going to be through in three months. We should definitely work on getting that passed. That is absolutely something we should do right now. Sure, we'll pay the royal court a visit. That seems okay. Uh, sure, we'll learn about this lover secret. Whatever. You must repent. Okay, so that seems absolutely fine for now. And this ransom is also in the category of okay. We're absolutely going to be interested in getting all of that cash. Beautiful. We can start a legend, we can restore accolades, and we absolutely do want to do that. We do need to apparently appoint a tax collector in this jurisdiction. We'll put our brother into that for right now. That seems good. And other than that, there's not too much going on here. So that seems reasonably fine. We'll have enough to upgrade in Felona as soon as this month tick happens. Worthiest of the champions? Okay, is that actually who we want to ac activate here? Well, not exactly. But it'll work. We wanted to also get our inactive accolade most expert of the Mel Spears back. That would be really, really solid to do. No doubt about that. But let's see what we can do for successors here. We need to seek one here. And then Bartholomeus would work. So skill 11. He is, of course, our brother, but that's fine. He's also our tax collector. So we'll force him to be a knight. Perfect. And that's not here. Okay, that was here. There we go. We have a successor there. And we have no successor for, unfortunately, the worthiest of the champions at this moment. Okay, we have enough gold almost to upgrade our Tunnelers Guild, lacking 48 additional gold here. There we go. Let's get that upgraded. Excellent. Loopholes have been constructed in Kong. Okay, now, how are we doing on that primogeniture? Has it happened? No, not yet. We are about nine days away from it, allegedly. Beautiful. We're just waiting on the primogeniture here. Hmm, this guy's not a powerful vassal. He's only exercising his rights. That'll be fine. An invisible enemy, huh? Increased maintenance? I'm not a huge fan of that. Men-at-arms damage minus 30% and toughness minus 10%? That is not great. Pressed levies is not good either. And closed barracks is also not good. All of these are quite bad. Okay. Okay. So those aren't great events, no doubt about that, but primogeniture is incredibly close to being done now. Now this ransom is acceptable, and so is this one. We also just got ourselves a successor for one of these. Was that Bearer of the Emperor's Mace? Yes. Okay, so worthiest of the champions, we do not have a successor for, and we don't have anyone right now to be the most expert of the Mel Spears. We'll see if we can get that later on, but for now, this'll have to do.
we could found a holy order. No, that's not going to happen. We're just waiting at this point for primogeniture. That is very important. We're still nine days away from this. It feels like we've been nine days away from this for quite a large amount of time. Now, that is theoretically possible. The way that this works is a 45% chance to gain progress. So every month, we just have a 45% chance of getting it. There it is. Fantastic. So primogeniture has been discovered. Ermine Cloaks is next, which is fine. I mean, Vassal Limit isn't terrible, but it's not ideal. Land cramps are not necessary, and urbanization is not necessary for now. Both of these will be finished up reasonably quickly without focusing on them, so that seems reasonably fine for now. So we need to switch over to primogeniture as soon as we can to avoid those messy successions, right? Can we do that right now? Actually, yes. Shockingly, all of our powerful vassals approve of it. I did not expect it to just go clean like that. I expected at least this guy to not be okay with it because he's very angry. We're going to change this law, and that's perfect. We are now officially in primogeniture. Things are officially so much cleaner on succession. We literally don't care about succession anymore. So we've now got this station regiment of armored footmen here. The question is, can we upgrade Royal Arsenal? No, we cannot. None of these can we upgrade. Actually, we'll be able to once we have a little bit more gold. 208 gold. That is a little bit of gold. We can appoint a worthy or a successor to worthiest of the champions. Can we? No, we can't. We don't have anybody that is eligible for that. Okay, and the most expert of the Mel Spears can theoretically be reinstated, but not in actuality. All of these, except for that... Actually, that vassal's just a mayor. Every single one of these is... Why are we raising our armies here? Can we not? Thanks. <laughs> Every single one of these is fine to do. Mayors, I don't care about. So that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. We're just going to issue all of these demands... Nope, I don't want that. Okay. We'll get rid of those in a moment. There. Stop raising armies. Perfect. So that'll be fine. That gets us a bunch of gold. The plague has left the realm. 1,800 gold to rebuild. I don't want to do that just yet, but I do want to do it in a moment. So first, we're going to get these smithies going to boost up our heavy infantry. And then we're going to spare no expense to rebuild. This will put us in debt for a little while, but it'll, it'll get that construction going first, which is ideal. We gained a rival, and we'll be in debt for a couple of months here. This means that we cannot go to war, of course. A schemer was discovered. Someone is attempting to steal our artifact. That is very, very rude of them, of course. What is this ransom? 10 gold? I mean, we'll take it. We need to get out of debt ASAP. We are not super close to getting out of debt right now. That is for sure. And we need to get that. Out of curiosity, how are we doing on our county control? It's all completely fine right now. So unless we have any debt events here, we'll be okay on that front. So that looks very solid. I want to check in on Warodugu. That's at 23 development right now, so that has come up nicely. We're at growing by 4.4 right now in Kong and by 11.6 in Warodugu. That is a lot, actually. That is a crazy amount. So we have a stewardship perk available. We're going to take it as my domain because that immediately is going to allow us to at least get close to getting out of debt. We'll extort our subjects, and what do we got going on here? Don't worry, we'll have everyone pay. That brings us out of debt. Beautiful. No problem whatsoever. Oh, France is the Holy Roman Empire now. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So that's the Holy Roman Empire. What happened to the Kingdom of France? It's not created. Well, that's going to make things interesting. Huh. I was definitely hoping to do a kingdom level claim up here. But that is going to change some things. If we want to do this, we may want to get started carving away at them right now. I'm thinking the Duchy of Barcelona is a good one to go for. There's quite a lot of counties here, actually. 
and we can kick them entirely out of Spain. And then we can just continue carving through this as truces allow. So this is going to be about 35,000 troops. Let's get this war declared and let's drop our rally point somewhere around here. This is not really a greedy raise because of their positioning. What? Laraba got lack of sheriffs? We're not in debt. Okay, whatever. We'll definitely get that taken care of immediately. I want to have our marshal be increasing control in Laraba. It's going to immediately jump down by 25%, but he'll get rid of the lack of sheriffs there. And he'll get that brought back up very shortly. Okay, so we know they've got a maximum... Another one? Hang on. We just got another one of those events. We are not in debt right now, for the record. Yeah, that's now in Warodugu. Well, we want to swap over to here. It must not update until the month tick. Interesting. Well, we should have enough troops here very soon. We need about 35k. So I'm going to raise 35k in levy forces. And we'll just do that. In we go. So that's like 51,000 troops. That is more than sufficient to deal with the HRE. They are running away from us. Excellent. This is what we want. So three, two, one, and that's under control. I want to come out over this direction because I'd love to fight them. Oh, we're going to catch some of them at least here. We caught their whole army. Beautiful. This is going to go very poorly indeed for them. I don't think that's stack white pace, but that's very solid. Yeah, let's just head over here and siege. We're at 68% war score right now. Wow. Okay. That was worth 50% war score, that battle. That's insane. We're 87 right now. This is going incredibly well. 94%? This siege will likely end the war. That's insane how quickly this went. Like, they can't do anything. It's just over. Insane. So we'll enforce those demands and disband these troops. Now, this territory we don't want to hold ourselves, obviously. I'm going to grant all of these individually. And then we'll grant out the duchy title. But that's probably going to be requ like requiring a kingdom level title out over here too, right? We have a fair amount of low-ranking vassals in this region. So let's look at the de jure kingdoms here. This is de jure part of France. So that de jure drifted. Navarra is under us because we were thinking about what we can do for the Iberian foothold. We would need to convert the counties to Seguic. But it would need to border de jure land of an empire that we hold, which is not Hispania. So that's the complicated thing here. I think we might want to grant Navarra out. I don't think this is actually going to be a thing. So we'll grant that over to this guy. Where are you? Kingdom of Navarra. There we go. And then out over this way, kingdom title would be the Kingdom of Leon, which we can certainly create. That would go to this lady. Show only the recent title. There we go. And then this would be under France. So for now, we should just get the Barcelona duchy title and grant that over to this fine gentleman here. Like that. So he would be a duke under us, which isn't ideal, but it'll have to do for now. So that definitely carves up the HRE a little bit and gets us on truce. So that's good. We can also consider attacking like White Horde up over this way, working our way into Italy, taking Sardinia and Corsica. And we can also work our way over this way. We have multiple avenues to go in here. So about four in total, but we're going to have a fair number of targets to go up against. Do we have any territories we don't know about? That happens sometimes. The answer is no. Okay. Well, there's this out over here, but that doesn't really count. I was looking for something like up here, up here, you know, something like that would be great. I think Sardinia is the way to go here, and we would need to do a duchy conquer down over this way. And we'll definitely do that. They have 21,000 troops, so we'll raise up a few of our own down over here. We don't need all that many. They called in a holy order and allies joined. Okay, so they have like 30,000. That is not very scary, all things considered. We'll raise up similar numbers, but our quality will be way, way higher. So this will be fine. And we're going to embark and head straight into their capital. Fantastic. 
We do have a fair amount of gold right now. What could we potentially spend it on? None of our own structures is the answer. We are currently constructing in all of our territories, so that seems absolutely fine for right now. Let's check in on Sardinia here. Oh yeah, this is free. Completely free. I love it. We just got another son. This doesn't matter anymore. The fact that we have so many children, we're on primogeniture. It really doesn't matter. It's so much cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be able to focus on actual expansion instead of putting our realm back together every five minutes, which is nice, no doubt about it, especially since we've only got about 150 years left. So that's absolutely okay. I mean, we can do a lot in 150 years. Don't get me wrong. So we're going to take their capital here. We're at 50% war score right now. And actually, we captured her. The war is over. So we'll disband these troops and let's grant this out and grant this out and grant this out fantastic now we need the duchy level title which is the grand principality here which we'll usurp and we're going to grant that straight on over this way perfect so now we need to of course attack sardinia again but we need to wait out the truce so next we would go somewhere over this direction probably utilizing the crossing right here and just go for white horde I mean, this duchy is about the best we've got, unless we can get a claimant. 50 reasons not to. 25 might be doable. 38 opinion. Female claimant, though. I'm not sure that we would be able to actually press her claim. Five reasons not to anyway. Okay. Most of these claimants are, in fact, female. But let's send a gift to this guy. That's 71 opinion. He still has five reasons not to do this. Hmm. We could work on swaying him. But let's see if there's anybody else to throw money at here. Well, actually, this guy. We I feel like we wasted a bunch of money, but I also don't care about that money. So we no longer care about swaying this guy. Excellent. And he has arrived at our court. We can now press his claim on the entirety of the White Horde. Now, this is very expensive. He is of a different religion, so that increases this by a lot. So we want to... Oh, hang on. Where did he go? Where did he go? It was this guy. I want to demand his conversion. He has a 47% chance of acceptance here. Hmm. Let's give it a go. He agreed. Okay, that is... Perfect. We don't care if he continues to practice it in secret. This is actually going to be huge. So we're going to declare this war. This is going to be... Oh, wow. We even get territory way out here. This is going to be an absolutely insane level of growth here for us. That's going to open up our options tremendously. Wild. Where's their capital? Is their capital way out here? I don't know. But we're going to declare this. The question is, where is that capital? It's up here. Okay. That's a manageable location to get to. But for right now, I want to raise our forces here. And we'll raise some levy troops as well. Enemy allies are joining the war. That's currently about 40k. But that number is going to go up a fair amount. 60k in theory. That's fine. We can absolutely scale our army to that size. We don't mind that at all. I'm just going to go to about 40k here. Oh, that's 50k. Okay. In we go. Let's get these sieges done. Challenge to board game. We've got other things to do right now. Thank you very much. We are attacking the White Horde. And we'll see what ends up happening when their army shows up. That'll be interesting for sure. We're at 11% war score right now from that siege. That's not bad. We're getting a lot of war score from these sieges at this point. Let's see if it stays. 23? Yeah, that's really good. Absolutely phenomenal. They are not going to be happy about this. This guy is claiming the Empire of Maghreb. Rude. What a jerk. Okay. 
we're going to continue to make our way through here. Yeah, all of these are worth 11.5%. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 counties here. Which means that we should never have to leave this territory. Assuming that they all give 11.5%. Which is maybe not the best assumption in the world. But it's certainly an interesting assumption. No doubt about that. So we're going to head down to Lechi here. I'm wondering where their army is. They were in other wars. So they are probably fighting these other wars here. Yeah. They're just going to let us run amok over here. We're at 65% war score right now. We're getting so much war score from these sieges. Absolutely crazy how much we're getting from this. So we're at 65% right now. 69%. As usual, I am contractually obligated to say nice. And we're going to head down to Salerno next. 81%. Yeah, this is over. They just can't do anything. This is not even them. Wonderful. This isn't them either. That's a hostile force. 85%. Now, we might get some of their wars. To be clear. Checking in here. Yeah, we might get some of... Yeah, these are both defensive wars. But they're not actually wars against him. So that's interesting. He's involved in them in both cases, right? Silesian Uprising and the Sultanate of Nikea. Yeah, he is involved in both of those, but... Oh, our son died. Well, see ya, Maman. That's not great for him. This war's over. We are going to become the King of the White Horde now. So that happened. Wait, what? Is this an Empire Tier? Oh, it's an Empire Tier Realm. I'm dumb. Okay. Well, that's my own fault. I should have checked that. I assumed it was a Kingdom Tier Realm for some reason. So we're currently truced with this guy. He is very happy with us, though. So one thing we could consider doing is attempting to inherit this realm in. Now, we are on... Yeah, this would be our player heir. He has no children right now. But we can see about changing that. We've got a hook on him. This is definitely not ideal. I assumed it was a kingdom tier realm, but because it's an empire tier realm, he, he got independence. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't think for whatever reason that that would be an empire tier realm. But yeah, it absolutely is. So fair enough. That is on me. Burgundy is definitely a thing that we could go after. It's a kingdom tier realm, but we don't have... We might be able to get a claimant there. That's a theoretical possibility. What do we got here? As far as right now goes... I'm wondering... About how we'd want to do this. We would want to marry our player heir to his daughter, which he doesn't currently have. And then we'd want to inherit his realm. Would be the way that that would end up going. We'll see if that ends up happening. For the time being, I'm more interested in Burgundy because he has no child. Well, this is interesting. He'll not accept a demand conversion. But we can recruit this guy. And we can go after Burgundy here. We have Typhus. Okay. Uh, we're currently dying. How old are we? We're 24. Due to Typhus. Okay. We're a little brighter. But uh, we got to get going here. Now, to be clear, dying isn't as big of a deal. We're on primogeniture now. So that's not great. But if we were to die at 24 right now due to Typhus, I'd be very, very sad about that. Yeah. Catastrophic penalty to health. We are a little brighter. We'll see if we manage to survive this. We had a bad omen that'll expire in four years. But we got to go after Burgundy, like, right now. This guy will become our vassal, and let's declare this. So we're going to go after Burgundy here. They are right up over here. We're going to drop our rally point here. We'll raise our men-at-arms and some levy troops. But it wouldn't be shocking if we were to die here. Our wife died. 
and that is understood. Our stress level going up is... Do we get a health penalty for level one? No, we don't. So that's not actually a bad thing. I wonder if we can do anything in here. No, I don't think we can. Okay. So we need a new stewardship wife in theory. She would do. We'll see if we manage to survive. We have a mental break here. Yeah, that's not surprising. I'm just wondering, is there anything here that would boost our health? Frozen grief would be a moderate penalty to our health, so we definitely don't want to take that. Melancholic would be as well, so we have to go the drugs route, which is, you know, not necessarily ideal. Okay. So there is that. Now, we are going to have a new wife here in a moment. That reduces our stress level, which is fine. And we want to make her be our primary spouse at this point. And that brings us back up to 10 of 10. Perfect. Now, how much does Burgundy actually have? 50,000. Oh, wow. They actually have a pretty decent army. That's fine. Our wife also has... Is this our primary wife? I think this is the one we literally just married. Yeah, she has Typhus now, too. We'll see if she manages to survive. Typhus is rough. No doubt about it. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to attack Burgundy and probably die of Typhus. We'll see what happens. But we're on primogeniture now, so it's all good. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.